people working in a company interact with each other to do their jobs. Likewise, proteins in cells constantly interact to perform cellular functions. To develop new disease therapies, researchers are trying to control these interactions with small molecule drugs that cause specific proteins to associate more or less with their coworkers. And now, researchers reporting in ACS journal, Analytical Chemistry, have developed a method to visualize whether drugs are regulating protein-protein interactions inside cells. The ability to control interactions among proteins could be a powerful tool to treat disease. For example, a small molecule drug called lenalidomide is used to treat multiple myeloma. It binds simultaneously to two proteins, Cirblon and Icarus. Normally, they wouldn't interact, but bringing them together can disrupt cancer cell function. Scientists have developed several fluorescence-based assays to study such activity, but they often rely on small changes in fluorescence that can be difficult to detect in living cells. The new method, devised by Shou Quan Shu and performed by Chan Yi Chung and colleagues, produces a strong, readily observable fluorescent signal when small molecules cause proteins to interact in cells. To develop their assay, the researchers made use of the known interactions among lenalidomide, cirblon, and Icarus. They genetically engineered human cells to produce cirblon and Icarus, each with an attached green fluorescent protein, called EGFP. The engineered proteins also had additional binding sites that allowed more of the proteins to interact than normally would. This way, when cirblon and Icarus did interact with each other through lenalidomide, the GFP signal would be greatly amplified. In the absence of lenalidomide, the cells showed a faint, diffuse green fluorescence. When the team added lenalidomide to the cells, thousands of GFP-containing proteins coalesced into highly concentrated bright green droplets. And by tweaking the system and using a different dye, the researchers could detect when a small molecule disrupted the interaction between two proteins. Here, they observed the disappearance of intense red fluorescent spots. The researchers say that the ability to readily detect these interactions in cells could aid drug screening.